Parfait is finishing hard along the inside. Baku Parfait takes out the derby. And they're off. Manicomio, sharp break from the gate. New York one veered out a bit at the start is at the back of the pack. Twenty cities up there with speed two. Fast Cash is now taken third, and New York one is next. My good man and race day warrior trailing into the turn run, where it's Twitty City on the lead. Twitty City shows the way from Manicomio, racing off the inside in second. Well off the reel as well as Fast Cash is about the four path. Or Fast Cash, a bit tough to handle there, is drifting to the outside. New York one also with a wide, wide journey around the turn. In the meantime, my good man saving ground, only about four from the front, and Race Day Warrior trailing the field. Twitty City through an opening quarter, 24.62, sets the tempo from Manicomio. Oh, Fast Cash is pulling up out of the race. Fast Cash is pulling up out of the race. My good man and New York One racing side by side for third, and Race Day Warrior is in the back of the pack. Twitty City from Manicomio with my good man remaining third on the inside, and New York One in fourth, and Race Day Warrior trailing still through a 48. 8.23 half mile. Around the far turn, Twitty City ahead in front from Manicomio. My good man trying to grind it out from third position. Then New York one and Race Day Warrior trailing. Now with two and a half furlongs left to go. Manicomio, Twitty City, my good man there on the outside. Race Day Warrior is moved to fourth with a quarter to go at Pimlico and they make the turn in. My good man out in the center of the track. My good man takes the clear lead now. Opens up, powers away by three for the final furlong. Manicomio, Twitty City, and Race Day Warrior. Here's my good man and Horacio Caramanos. They're widening the margin in the final 16th of a mile to come home in a Pimlico opener. My good man. My good man will win by about 10. Race Day Warrior, Manicomio, Twitty City. Minute four. And they're off. Bonnet and Lake Parima from the outside post. Union Song and Instinctive. Now Union Song will settle back there. Instinctive is in third. And here's the great dancing with Painter with Lady Macho alongside of that one. Union Song back to second to last position. And jump start my heart. Trailing into that turn run where Bonnet takes off at a three or four length lead from Lake Parima. Bonnet leads the way around that turn. Lake Parima is second. Instinctive on the inside. And dancing with Painter is fourth. Another three and it's Lady Macho in advance of Union. 
Union Song and Jump Start. My heart's still in the back. And about a dozen lengths to make up now. Opening quarter, 24.44. The free reeling front runner out there. It is Bonnet. Bonnet showing the way. Bonnet is in front. The saddle may have slipped up just slightly there on Bonnet. In a three-length lead on Lake uh, Parima in second on the outside. Dancing with Painter is racing in third position. And Instinctive still down inside there in fourth. And Lady Macho is fifth. Jump Start. My heart tries to rally from the back. And Union Song trailing the field. Heading into the far turn. And it's Bonnet leading the way by two lengths. Dancing with Painter on the outside now of Lake Parima. Dancing with Painters taking aim on Bonnet around the far turn run. Instinctive is in fourth and jump start. My heart still has six lengths to come now. Bonnet urged on with a quarter to go at Pimlico to try to maintain the edge. Dancing with Painter Lake Parima is in third position. Instinctive down to the inside in fourth. Coming to the last for long. Bonnet's in front. Dancing with Painter. The outside trying to make some inroads. Lake Parima is in third and instinctive. They determine Bonnet. Dancing with Painter with one more try to the outside. The great keeps on coming. Bonnet dancing with Painter. Instinctive on the inside. Late run jump start my heart, but too late. Dancing with Painter. Fergal Lynch in time from Bonnet. And it is instinctive in Lake Parima next to the photo there and jump start my heart. Minute 47.21. And they're off. Clary's Darling making a double. Jenna the Boss on the inside with Saberly Speed. Gary doing biz. Here's Competent on the outside. And why? Roxy, why? Left to run on from last position and seven off the of speed. Clary's Darling is joined by Gary doing biz and Competent on the outside. Three in a line. Another three in Jenna's the Boss tracks the trio and make it a double. And why? Roxy, why? In the back of the pack now. Some eight off the pace and off the inside is why? Roxy, why? Into the turn. Competent. Clary's Darling battles back on the inside. Why? Roxy, why something amiss is pulling up out of the race there. Length and a half. Here's Jenna the Boss. The outside is making a double. Trying to move up Pink Silks. Of making a double on the outside. A quarter to go at Pimlico and it's Claire's Darling making a double. Revs up into second and Jenna the Boss third down to the inside. And they're followed by Gary doing biz and competent. And again Y Roxy Y pulled up on a final furlong and it's Claire's Darling the lead by two lengths. Claire's Darling kept a task and holding off making a double. And third is Jenna of the Boss Here's Claire's Darling and the X-Men. Claire's Darling by three from Make It a Double. Then Gary doing biz and Jenna the Boss left to battle for third. Claire's Darling from Make It a Double. Jenna the Boss was third and Gary doing biz.
and they're off. Discreet Dominique, Ordinary Girl sent hard for the lead, and Ordinary Girls grabbed the lead from Discreet Dominique, and Chrome plated Hardaway running in third. Winterthur is in fourth, and Miranda's Desmond is in between horses in fifth. Another two, and it's Broadway Melodies next, and Nicolar and who knows what racing side by side. They're nine to ten off the pace, and Bella Time is outrun into the far turn. Round the turn to go, Ordinary Girl moving right along three quarters of a length. As Discreet Dominique tries to make an impact from second, Chrome plated hard is in third, and Miranda Miranda's Desmond is on the move on the outside in the clear. Here's Miranda's Desmond moving up third, now second on the outside as they turn in. Broadway Melody is next. Into the stretch for a long left to go. Miranda's Desmond now striking lead. Miranda's Desmond's in front. Nicolar tries to pick up to the center of the course. Ordinary Girls hanging in tough, and Chrome Plated Heart is game between horses. Chrome Plated Heart finds room with Charlie Marquez. Chrome Plated Heart just out kicking Miranda's Desmond. Chrome Plated Heart to win. Three quarters of a length from Miranda's Desmond. Close third. Who who knows what? And then Nicolar, ordinary girl. And they're off. Talented Dr. B, Mystic Times up on the inside with early speed, and Tom Terrific, and then it's Victory Given, and the back is proud enough. Talented Dr. B is the leader, as Tom Terrific picks up the chase on the outside second. So, Talented Dr. B leading the way. The outside is Tom Terrific trying to press early. Another two and a half in Mystic Times, and Victory Given, the third and fourth, and Proud Enough is fifth on the inside, heading into the far turn run. So, Tom Terrific and Talented Dr. B dueling together, 23.30 a quarter mile and Mystic Times and Victory Give It is in fourth and Proud Enough trailing midpoint on that turn. Tom Terrific, Talented Dr. B trying to settle their differences and Mystic Times and Victory Give It on the outside is fourth and then it's Proud Enough trailing top of the stretch. Quarter to go at Pimlico and it's 46.18 for the half mile. Tom Terrific is that leader, Talented Dr. B's under a battle in second, Mystic Times and Victory Given and here's Tom Terrific coming away with a two length lead and Mystic Times Gamely trying to charge on there from second, but it's Tom Terrific too much. Tom Terrific. Tom Terrific to win. Talented Dr. B. Mystic Times is third. And close fourth, victory given. And proud enough. Minute 11.30. 782.
And they're off. Mayfield of Dreams on the far outside. Lady Perry's right up there with some early foot, too, as they journey by us now. Here's Cheryl Away, and the inside is Coral Summer. Coral Summer just taking third. Cheryl Away in fourth. Celestial Diva moves over to the rail there, 20 feet, and Bob's Lady had to check just a little bit there and steady and drop back some seven lengths off the pace. And back to the Gray Mare running on entry as they round that turn. Gal of My Dreams racing back of the pack with Perfume River second last position and Dance So Free trailing the field. About 13 lengths will cover front to back. The opening quarter 24.13 as Mayfield Adrien sets the tempo. Leaves a two-length lead on Lady Perry in second. Coral Summer on the outside and Celestial Diva down to the inside tugging along there in tight. They're followed by Bob's Lady. The outside is Cheryl Way and the inside is Perfume River trying to make some progress. Has to weave through some traffic there. Get through some traffic on the inside and so too does Celestial Diva. Is at a tough time of it down to the inside heading onto the far turn. Mayfield of Dreams leads the way. 50.46 half mile. Lady Perry is second. The inside is Celestial Diva in third. Cheryl Away is in fourth. Bob's Lady is fifth. Perfume River is sixth with run. Just in behind the second flight. Another two to Cheryl Away running on entry on the outside and Dan so free and Gallimide Dreams trailing at the top top of the stretch now where Mayfield of Dreams tries to kick on. Mayfield of Dreams shifting off the inside with a two length lead. A two length lead there on the outside second is Coral Summer and Perfume River finally finds, race, finds racing room and is coming on through now and Perfume River. Perfume River up to engage and go past Mayfield of Dreams. Perfume River and Fergal Lynch with a double. Going away winner by three. Mayfield of Dreams was second. Running on entry was third and Coral Summer finished fourth. Bob's Lady fifth. And they're off. Wicked hot, sharp start there. Princess Kokachin on the outside. Be good. Marvella Nasty broke sharp but settles. Here's My My Girl up on the outside, eager to go. It's Princess Kokachin leading the way. Three parts of a length. The outside, My My Girl. And Wicked Hot down inside. Take it back in third position. Quiet Imagination. Be good is caught in between horses for the backstretch run. And Gimme's Golden Girl, Marvella Nasty, last but not far from the front. Only five and a half off of speed. Princess Kokachin round that far turn. Half in front from My My Girl. And Wicked Hot, the favorite, is third on the inside. Quiet Imagination right alongside of her. The opening quarter, 23.41. Gimme's Golden Girl now drops to the back of the pack with Be Good ridden along and Marvella Nasty trailing. Quarter to go at Pinnacle and it's Princess Kokachin. My, my girl there on the outside trying to get by. Wicked Hot is now called on for run down to the inside. She's trying to spy an opening in between horses. May have to come to the outside of the top pair. Indeed she does. Wicked Hot on the outside but My, my girl has come away with the lead. My, my girl's in front. Wicked Hot's coming on the outside with each and every stride. The outside is Wicked Hot. Wicked Hot from My My Girl. Wicked Hot, My My Girl. Wicked Hot. Fergal Lynch is hot. Three today. Wicked Hot for Fergal Lynch. My My Girl was second. Marvella Nasty coming late in quiet imagination. Give me his golden girl.
And they're off. Mischief's model, sharp start, right to the front. Mischief's model, Bluefield Eloquent Lady, away third, and Tritone Gal, and Dayanu, and last is but a pecan. Mischief's model leads the way three quarters of a length from Bluefield, tight of the inside in second. The outside is Eloquent Lady up close, too. Here's Butter Pecan, the far outside, racing fourth, and only three off the lead, Dayanu, and Tritone Gal, the two in the back. Only five lengths will cover them, heading into the turn now. Mischief's model, that head in front, Eloquent Lady, fired up along side in second and blue field a length and a half off a pair down to the inside tritone gal tries to get underway the outside is butter pecan die dianu trailing the field the opening quarter went in 23.61 quarter to go at pimlico and it's mischief model leading the way blue field just in behind the lead eloquent lady still right there through a 46 50 half mile and butter pecan on the far outside fires up and takes a narrow lead perhaps but blue field is coming through now and here is blue field blue field for the final furlong full of run. Bluefield now by two and a half, three. Mischief's model and Butter Pecan is third. Here's Bluefield, a sharp winner by five at the finish. Photo second with Mistress model or Butter Pecan. And then it was Eloquent Lady in the next photo. Line up for the ninth race. Five ace turf, rail 20 feet, they're off. Not my money, says that star in the boss of you, the fire line. Fast Lani. Fast Lani now to the front. Fast Lani has the lead early. And it's on the chase is Ken's Lady from second. The outside is Sweet Sassafrassi. Not my money back fourth down to the inside. Length and a half more. Mary Maid is next. The boss of you broke with him, but suddenly dropped to the back of the pack. Suzette Starr is second to last position. America's woman trailing the field. Into the far turn. Fast Lani sets the tempo. Length and a half in front from Ken's Lady. Not my money. Mary Maid on the outside into fourth, the driven sweet sass of Frassy, followed by Suzette Starr and the boss of you and America's woman. Also sweet sass of Frassy lost the rider, not my money's come to the lead from Fast Lonnie and Suzette Starr out in the center of the track here's not my money, not my money, even money, not my money. Fast Lonnie was second, Suzette Starr and America's woman.